Welcome to this Fix It channel and this is another video and our looks at the causes or possible causes of blue screens on a PC. And this is another video, part two in our series of blue screens and understanding uh, how to identify what's happening. So, what are the common causes of blue screens? Um, okay, this one is a classic blue screen from uh, Windows 7 although this one is a fake because it has a technical support number. Never call any technical support. There are a lot of fake blue screens out there. And of course the brand new or more uh, modern version of Windows 8 and Windows 10 blue screens which is this one here. And uh, so blue screens are of course crashes in Windows. One of the things that most people think all the time is that, oh, Windows, you know, it's, it's just so bad it crashes all the time. Well, I can tell you that more than 95% of all blue screens you will see have nothing to do with Windows being wrong. 95% and more of blue screens are caused by third-party software, hardware, hardware problems, all sorts of little things, infections with viruses, uh, and... Um, you know, most people will blame Windows and Microsoft when um, actually Windows is quite all right. And, you know, the latest versions of Windows are extremely stable. Um, Windows 7 is very, very stable. Windows 8 is extremely stable. Windows 10, with even the anniversary update, is some of the most stable operating systems ever. They are amazing and they will actually still continue working even with some pretty mighty bad stuff happening uh, while you're using your PC. So the first thing that can be a problem, bad drivers, is often the first thing that I will look at. When something goes wrong, uh, you know, bad drivers uh, is something that will be checked at, especially if I can pinpoint information about drivers in there often checking for updates on drivers and uh, also sometimes it could be conflicts so sometimes you'll see something like these little yellow marks there or maybe a red X or you know something saying hey this device can't start it has something wrong so conflicts within devices happens bad drivers are very very often a cause of blue screens check out for updates to these drivers uh, and the manufacturer, so if it's a device that you have, a printer, for example, check out for an update in its drivers. If it's uh, the w system itself, the computer you're using, go to the manufacturer's website, HP, Dell, or whatever, and check out for updates in drivers on your PC if you're plagued with blue screens. It is a very common cause of crashes. And if you want to test these, unplug everything from your PC, and check out if it crashes when you know you're just using the standard basic um, Windows operating system with nothing plugged in. Software that's installed is also a cause of blue screens. It can happen that a piece of software has a bad, uh, you know, it's 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 badly programmed, badly created, and it will make Windows crash somehow. Usually, you'll notice for software because usually you'll have a PC that goes well then you install a piece of software and bang you're hit with a blue screen and that's why when you reinstall Windows never install a bunch of software um, you know together go one by one use your PC for a while after each software that you reinstall make sure that it works well and like that by going slowly one software at a time you might pinpoint which software is actually creating a crash on your PC. Bad RAM modules are a common cause of blue screens. And this one is often hard to detect because it doesn't always say, well, you know, something went wrong with RAM. Uh, bad RAM modules often create very, very weird blue screens that often are very different. Um, you know, every time you get a blue screen, you have a different message. That's a hard, you know, that's the hard blue screen to um, actually um, understand what's happening. But bad RAM modules or mismatched RAM modules. For example, you got RAM installed. Um, you got RAM from one manufacturer. They installed RAM from another manufacturer. It can happen that 
two RAM modules from different brands will crash when used together. So these are things that you should check for. Of course, the only way to understand if RAM is, an, is a cause of errors is to remove the RAM modules and replace them with a RAM module that you know works fine and check out what happens. If it stops crashing, if your blue screen stops, that means that it could be, once again, the RAM modules or a mismatch RAM module. Motherboards are the ca another cause of blue screens. It can be because of uh, bad settings in the BIOS. It could also be because your CMOS battery that keeps all the settings died and now your settings have reset to zero in the BIOS. And meaning that a lot of your hardware might not have the correct settings to work. Bad motherboards do exist and sometimes the uh, you know different processes in the north and the south bridge and things like that don't communicate well together and that can create some um, blue screens. Unfortunately that's very difficult very often to uh, check out because since the motherboard is such an important part of your PC uh, only swapping a motherboard will let you see if you know motherboard was a, a problem here. Power supplies are surprisingly often a case of blue screens and mostly for desktops. Why? Because in laptops most power supplies are actually filtered by the laptop itself and that's why they can often have a variety of different voltages and the laptop will regulate all of that into a specific voltage for each part of the PC. But in a desktop where often the power supply itself is the creator of all the different voltages that your motherboard needs. If you have a cheap power supply, if you have a power supply that might have a problem and the voltage uh, starts to uh, vary a lot, so if there's too much fluctuation in the voltages, it can cause a computer to crash because a computer needs to have very stable voltages to work well. So that's something that you might want to check out maybe swapping your power supply with another one just to see if it crashes that's another way that you can check out and if it doesn't crash anymore well you know maybe your power supply has a problem infections are a good cause of blue screens <clears throat> as a tech guy in my 17 years of uh, working I've seen sp uh, spyware uh, trojans and viruses create blue screens on a lot of PCs and once you scan the computer or you clean it from all the viruses, you notice that, oh, it starts working fine again. Sometimes removing a virus can break something in Windows also. That means if it's after an infection that you've uh, cleaned up, you might need to reinstall Windows. And that is another, you know, scan your system for, for virus infections and uh, for Trojans and stuff like that use malware bytes or any antivirus and scan your machine. It's surprising the number of machines that can have blue screens because of that. Overheating is something that you need to be checking out regularly because um, as a tech guy once again I've often had blue screens created by overheating machines and um, mostly on AMD CPUs. If you're using an AMD CPU and you've got blue screens, why not check out your computer? Make sure it doesn't have dust clogging the heat sink. Make sure, especially if you are a smoker, it's even worse because smoking actually mixes with the dust and creates a brown goo that is really, really horrible around uh, computers. So uh, check for overheating. Uh, it doesn't just shut down, you know, most overeating problems is your computer shuts down and stays off because it's too hot. But in many cases of overheating, it can create blue screens. Make sure that you clean out all the dust. Make sure that it's well ventilated. Hard drive crashes and problems are often a cause of blue screens. Uh, basically, if your hard drive is getting older and it starts having more errors in reads or writes, uh, if it's devlo developing uh, some uh, bad sectors, uh, that's also another cause of uh, really blue screens that can happen 
So that's something not to um, you know to, to take that you can take a look at. It doesn't happen as often as the other ones, but it's something that can happen. And finally, corrupt files, corrupt registry entries are corrupt registry are often causes of blue screens also. Now, don't think that because you use a software like CCleaner, for example, that it fixes the registry. Um, actually, when these software say they fix the registry, they don't fix it. No software fixes the registry. It doesn't exist. Don't believe them when they say, oh, we're going to fix the registry. They're not fixing the registry. What they usually do is just check out entries that are not used anymore, stuff like that, and clean that. But an entry that is faulty, they have no idea that it's faulty because there's billions of configurations in the registry. They don't know what's good from bad. So don't believe, you know, not, it's not because you've used CCleaner or any other registry cleaning software uh, that you have blue screens. Don't think, oh, well, I guess it can't be the uh, registry because I've just fixed it with the software. Uh -uh, wrong. They don't fix it. And it can be a registry entry that's wrong. It can be corrupt files. It can be corrupt registry entries, uh, corrupt DLLs and windows. Usually when it's corrupt files, corrupt DLLs, a corrupt registry, reinstalling windows from scratch usually fixes all of the blue screen issues because when you reinstall everything is set up and clean and okay so uh, that's something that you should check for so these are some of the common causes of blue screens and I hope that you enjoyed this little series that we'll be doing this week uh, expect at least one video every day this week for blue screens and uh, the way that you can uh, basically check a look take a look at it so uh, hope you enjoy our videos if you do please subscribe give us thumbs up if you have any comments questions suggestions let us know and thank you for watching